This is the spindle sander. Its main use is for sanding rounded cuts, but it can also be used for sanding more focused areas. Before we begin, make sure the spindle sander is unplugged and the switch on the front of the machine is turned off. The spindle sander has tools under the table on both sides that allow you to change the angle of the table. To tilt the table, first loosen both of the tools on each side. They may be a little stiff. Once you've got those loosened up, you can go ahead and adjust the table to whatever setting you'd like. And then make sure to tighten the tools on both sides back again. On each side of the machine you'll find spindles of various sizes. Find the one you want and detach it by unscrewing the nut on the bottom of the spindle. To attach the spindle to the machine, find the hole in the center and screw it in until you turn the machine. Don't tighten it too much. Lastly, place the metal guard around the spindle, aligning the longest bolt with the correct hole. Now you can plug in the spindle sander and hit the button on the front to make sure it's working. Before you begin work on the spindle sander, make sure you have the proper hearing protection and eye protection. Flip the power button on. and start work on your project. Once you've finished your work, turn the sander off and unplug it. Remove the plate, clean off the table, and replace the spindle back to its storage position on the side of the machine. Don't forget to attach the nut that you took off in the beginning back onto the bottom of the spindle. And that was the video for the spindle sander.